lab today we're me measuring up some sheet metal parts here some prototypes this company locally here does some laser cutting on these these uh, sheet metal parts and what we're doing is we're inspecting the shape the cutout shape of the uh, of the part as well as the location of the holes after it's been formed so what I want to do is today show you guys how we can grab thin walled material uh, whether it be sheet metal in this case or plastic and we can measure our circles in a small zone or a band around that thin walled sheet metal. So this is a perfect example of this. Um, in my model, I call it DIM1. It's one of the, the holes that I use as output. So it's down in this area right here, and you can see it here in my model. I've got that open here. I'll zoom in a little bit. So that hole is my DIM1 from my ballooned drawing. So notice here though, I've got all of these in my model tree. I've got this model already dialed in and I've removed the measured component from this DIM1. So that's why everything's all lit up here with this exclamation point and my, my alignments aren't in. So what I'll do is I'm gonna measure this hole up and I'm gonna show you guys how we use a thin wall uh, criteria inside of the properties to measure this up. So I can make sure that I am within the zone of the sheet metal. A little trick though I want to show you guys is I'll go here and I'll right click and I'll go to the properties. Now under this tab here, under the measurement tab, my sub method for this, uh, for this data capture is going to be thin material. I'll hit the down arrow here. Notice standard is typically what we grab when we do this, but I'm going thin material. But what I like to do is the material thickness, I like to decrease that quite a bit. Um, we've seen this on other uh, stamped holes as well. When the punch goes through that hole, and if the, mil if the uh, material's a couple millimeters thick, we typically see that the material stamps nice at the top as the, as the punch is entering. But as that punch works its way through, the bottom of that hole starts to expand out or it starts to blow out the material. Well, I don't want to measure that. I want to measure where that punch is engaged with that metal. So what I've done here is I've decreased the material thickness to two tenths of a millimeter. So that's not much of a zone, but what Polyworks will, will do is it won't allow me to take points outside of that zone. So I am insured that I am right in the, uh, or I, I'm insured that the equator of the probe is right in where that stamping is typically the best. So let me do this. I'm just gonna show you, or I'll hit apply here and I'll close. And then I'm just gonna right key on this and probe measured. But I'll grab the arm and I'll show you this. As soon as I get into this hole, I always visibly make sure that my equator is in that hole and it's on that surface of that sheet metal. So you can see that it's taking points there. So I'll hit a couple points on that. Now I'll do a point that's a little bit lower. Okay, notice that. Polyworks won't allow me to take a point when I'm that low. Okay, so I'll shoot another point there, and then I'll compensate in the middle. So what Polyworks is doing is it's setting up this zone around my constraining plane, like in this case was that, that datum A plane, the upper plane, and it's setting up a zone underneath that which is only allowing me to take points in that zone. So that way I can make sure that I am, I'm taking points on the equator of that probe in that hole in the zone that's perfect for that sheet metal. So now you can see in my model, in my 3D scene here, I have got that hole, DIM1, measured up, and it's about 18 microns away from what the, uh, the diameter inside of the model wants it to be. So it's a pretty nice hole, and I, I expect that. It's a, it's a laser cut hole, so its size for diameter is, is good. So that's the only thing I wanted to show you, though, is if you get into situations where you've got thin wall material, Polyworks will give you that option so that you can say how thick your material is and from which, which plane you want to use as your constraining plane. And it'll set up a zone that keeps you in that just to make sure that you are on the right surface of that hole. <music>